Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the men. Welcome to a toast to the men with your guy S. D. Booker. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for the support. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. That's very important for the YouTube algorithm. Very important. Does the black woman want to be led? Good question. I've been wondering this for a while. Um, today, this thought hit my radar because of a post on Facebook I read. Uh, this gentleman, he uh, posts questions, sometimes thought-provoking, sometimes humorous questions on Facebook daily, throughout several times throughout the day. And one of the questions he posted today was if you were married and I guess he was talking to men he said if you're if you're married men would you let your wife have male friends yeah that's how it's, that's how it's phrased he was talking to men he said men if you're married would you let, keyword let, your wife have male friends? Now, I know just, you know, from this guy's history and the post uh, he's put out there that he has a, a nice following and he knows how to really stoke and uh, in, invoke reactions, particularly from women. So I knew that word let was going to strike a chord. So I immediately go to the comments and you just see these women saying, let, let, question mark, L-E-T, question mark, let. And then they would go into their thoughts about it, right? But they will always start out with let, like the audacity of you, the nerve of you, let. And I was like, wow, you know, I think uh, 30, 40, 50 years ago and beyond, you know, that wouldn't even be a big thing, him phrasing it, that question that way. But I knew he did it on purpose. He did it for a reason. You know, that's, that's what he likes to do, right? And it's, it's hilarious to me, but I knew he would get a reaction from the female uh, demographic. <clears throat> but I started going into these women's profiles, right? And I would say I went through at least 20. All but two. Like from, you know, from the looks of it, from their, their page, all but two were single. Uh, and at least that's what their profile said. It said single, all but two. So 18 was single according to their profile and according to their pics. And two were married. They had a problem with this. Now, this guy had over at, at that point, man, maybe 50 comments, uh, over 100 reactions. And so I didn't go through everyone. So I just took a snapshot of a few. And I, I dove into it, did a, dive, a deep dive to see, you know, what's going on with these, these women that are responding. And man, I, I just think uh, the black woman really has an issue with the black man. And this has been going on for a while. And we can't put it all on the black woman. There's some kind of strife between the black woman and the black man. Maybe, you know, has something to do with the voyage uh, from Africa. Although, you know, not all of us uh, come from slavery. Um, you know, I know that's what they tell us. And uh, so that leads me to the next point. Maybe we're being fed strife. We're being fed uh, energy to be pitted against one another. And so you, you have the black woman that fights being submissive to the black man, but she wants to be protected by him and provided by him. 
I'm telling you, the same black woman that has an issue with their brother said, let. I don't even know these women personally, but if, you know, she was getting attacked and I was to walk by and see this, as a black man, she would expect me to intervene and protect her. Facts. She would, she would expect that. But I'm not expecting her to intervene and protect me at all. Uh, so are we equal? Uh, so this is why uh, we can't co-lead. And I'm talking to black women now. This is why we can't co-lead. And this is why uh, I got to be the head. Because regardless if I know you or not, just for me being a black guy, and especially being a black guy at 6'2", 240, you expect me to protect you. You expect me to protect you because I'm a black man and you're a black woman. But then that same black woman doesn't want to submit to me. And when I say submit, I mean cooperate. Cooperate joyfully. But you expect me to protect and provide. If a black woman is doing bad on a particular day, a complete stranger, and we're at the gas station, she's expecting me to help her out because I'm a black man. That same woman won't submit, AKA cooperate. I've been in so many situations where I might be at the uh, at a lounge or in my younger days, a club, a bar. And I mean, man, Complete strangers, females, <clears throat> would expect me to buy them a drink because I'm nicely dressed and I'm a black man. They would expect me to buy them a drink. And I didn't even pursue them. It's crazy. Just because she's standing next to me or because she struck, she struck, uh, struck up a conversation she, she deserves a drink. That's how she feels. Man, one time I had, I was at this spot, this Jamaican spot. And me and my boys, we're at the bar. It was a light night, we're at the bar. And from nowhere, this black female, nice, nice looking, just, she approaches me rear first. Like she approaches me, not face first, not facing me. She approaches me, twerking, shaking that thing backwards until she gets to me. So obviously she saw me before I saw her. I got two, three other guys with me. She comes up to me, backing that thing up on me on some song. I ain't been juvenile, back that thing up. So man, got this female putting it on me. I don't even know her. We got a female bartender behind us. So once the song ends, the female bartender says, uh, are you gonna buy her a drink? And I said, no. Now this offended the female. That was all on me, this offended her. Her feelings were hurt, she was embarrassed. And then she goes on to say how broke I am. I'm a broke, you know, N-I-G-G-A. I ain't got no bread. This long she don't even know me. But this is the sense of entitlement. But from her reaction, you could tell this is not a submissive woman. This is not a woman that bask in her true feminine essence. So, you know, I'm a young man. My ego took over to but I wasn't upset. I actually was laughing in her face. And my boys were laughing. <clears throat> and I go in my pocket. And I pull out a knot. A knot. A hundreds. A knot. I go, oh, babe, ain't nobody broke. 
I said, I'm just not interested, you know. I said, I got a woman at the house. You know, I said, I'm not interested. And what's crazy is the woman I had at the house was my boy's sister. You know, i have known her forever, known him forever. And uh, so he didn't see a problem. I didn't ask for this woman coming, but you know, I'm, I'm letting it go. But I'm still not crossing that line to do anything with her. I don't spend no money with her. Money is energy, money is a resource. You, you can't get that from me. And uh, yeah, she goes off, man. She was irate. So that incident and just incidents throughout my life is like, you know, women know how to be feminine, but they only turn it on when they want something. It's not genuine most times. And I'm not talking about all women. The women I'm talking to know who I'm talking to. It's not genuine. It's not pure. It's to get what they want. Man, I've seen full-fledged, what do you call them? Uh, studs, I guess they call themselves. Uh, I guess you would say masculine gay women. Full, I mean, all out. The attire. The haircut all out. Full fledged aggressive lesbian. Turn on their femininity when they wanted something from a man. I've seen it. I've seen it firsthand. It's been done to me. They turn on their femininity when they want something. I've also seen them turn it on, uh, maybe subconsciously, when I stepped into the room because of my masculinity force them to be more feminine. You know, me and my wife, we'll laugh about it later. We, we sit back and laugh at it. It's funny. It's like, man, how, how does full-blown uh, stud just go feminine like that when you came around? Uh, yeah, it's tricky, man. It's tricky. But when the gentleman posted that on Facebook, man, I knew he was going to get a rise. I knew he was going to get a reaction. And just that word, let, let your woman have male friends. That word, let, that's a sign they don't want to be submissive. They don't want to really be agreeable. They don't want to have to cooperate unless they're getting something from it. It's all about them. <clears throat> Not every woman, but you know who I'm talking to. So brothers, you gotta be aware, you gotta watch them. Court a woman, you know? Don't be so quick to give her your energy, your money, and your time. Now, if you're just doing your thing, man, you know, smashing and dashing, you know, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't suggest that, right? But, you know, I can't tell a grown man what to do, but I really don't suggest it, man, because that's still energy. She's still getting your energy. But, man, before you settle with a woman, man, just observe her, court her, ask questions, and just watch her. Listen. You know, listen. Remove the emotion. Remove it. Think logically and watch them. And uh, to answer that brother's question, would a man let, should a man let his woman have male friends? Brothers, if you even got to make that a situation where that is an issue, that ain't the one for you. Because when that woman has fully submitted her feminine energy under your masculine energy, man, that ain't even an issue about no male friends. I mean, that'll never come up. That's not even an issue. I promise you. So... All right, just a little something from me to you, love. Peace. Martin, yeah, let me get a, get a double shot of that uh, boxing game. No rocks, no chasing, baby.